Welcome to Masters of Product Management, a show that gives you real-world techniques, cutting-edge strategies, and extraordinary insights for product managers who want to go faster and farther in their product management careers. Now, here's the master himself, Stephen Haynes. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I want to talk about the difference between product management and project management. Now, this is a discussion that has been happening for decades, as far as I'm concerned. Yet, I continue to see uh, the questions surface. Uh, and, and it's as simple as you have a product manager who may have some project management responsibilities. And, and this is a humorous um, experience. There was actually an interchange. And somebody in a, in a recent uh, product management workshop given by my firm, Sequent Learning Networks, asked this question, um, wow, I really feel like I'm just a project manager all the time. You know, what's the difference? And I said, well, you know, it, I have good news and bad news for you. The good news is that you're asking for a difference between the two, product versus project management. Um, the bad news is sometimes you actually have to be a project manager, even when you're, ha you're wearing the hat of a product manager. So I know that may be frustrating to people, but, you know, uh, I, what I want to try to do is just go through some of the basics uh, in this um, very brief uh, podcast so that you all have a sense of what this thing is about. And so um, certainly um, there are lots and lots of things that are going on inside of, uh, of, of companies, but um, the, the, there are, there are portfolios of products and you're, you're not going to believe this, but portfolios of projects. So we have to just distill it down into the object. The object is the product or the project. So the product, as most of us know, is anything that's sold to a customer. And products can be tangible or intangible. They could be um, software delivered as a service. It could be a bank account delivered by a bank. It could be a tangible product uh, like your, your mobile device. So that's what the product is. And so if we just redefine product management as the business management of products, from start to finish across their life cycles, then we have the foundation or the object for product. But a project is a series of activities and tasks, which within the context of a product's business contributes to the creation of, of, of the product itself. And um, you can have um, design projects, you can have development projects, you can have projects to build factories, you can have projects to um, produce products in another country. But projects are composed of, of, of work. It's actually defining what people do. It defines roles and responsibilities. And, and from, for context, um, I mean, I, I like projects. I, I learned project management when I was in college. I worked earlier in my career as a cost analyst in a defense firm um, doing project monitoring, cost tracking. And you really understand that when you really want to get work done, you have to literally start with a big blob of what is it that you have to do? What's the goal? And that how do you break it down into pieces? The project management people call that a work breakdown structure. And that work breakdown structure divides work into smaller pieces and smaller pieces made up of tasks and tasks have start dates and end dates, and by default, they have durations. And so what we try to do is look at all these tasks and durations and how they're linked together, um, some done sequentially, some done in parallel, but they all have to come together um, and integrated literally in order to form the completed thing. And very often the completed thing is a, a, project, a product, if you will, and it could be a product feature or a set of features. It could be a physical product, et cetera. So th that said, um, let's talk about some roles and responsibilities. And just again, this is foundational stuff, but I want to reinforce it because I think this is an important topic. So let's talk about the role of the product manager. And what we look at in companies, and companies that we deal with at Sequent, are larger, more complex firms. They are firms that are, some people might call them traditional. They are industrial. They are financial services firms. They are other service delivery type firms. 
Um, there are companies that are um, delivering physical products. There are companies that are having physical and and software. Um, companies that are in digital transformation. Those are the kinds of large, complex firms that we deal with. And for leaders of those companies, they look at product managers as business managers. And so typically, what do product managers do? Well, if you're a product manager, you know you're, you're assessing markets, you're creating goals and strategies, you're guiding teams through uh, equating the customer's journeys or the user's journeys with the features and the capabilities of the product that need to be built and delivered. Um, you're leading and influencing people who work in different departments. Um, you're, you're synchronizing the work of a lot of different people, you're solving problems, and you're using a lot of business tools, forecasts, finance, analysis, and things like that. So that's the, the general framework for what product people do. Project managers, on the other hand, um, plan, monitor, and control aspects of the project. So what's, what's interesting is that there's an overlap in work, right? Because project managers have to motivate and synchronize resources assigned to the project to complete the project. Yet what's interesting about the difference between project, products and projects is that products have a long life. And you have lots and lots and lots of projects that are spawned across the entire life cycle. And sometimes you have different resources working on those different projects for that product. And that's a really, really interesting way to look at this. And so if we, again, look at um, the roles through a set of lenses, we can say, wow, product managers and project managers share common characteristics. They need really, really good organizational and interpersonal skills. They need to be relentless and persistent because they have to drive their teams to achieve specific goals. And so there are qualities like leadership, um, you know, and, and, and influence that, that somebody just doesn't rally around because of the cause. They rally around the vitality and the inspiration and the passion of that person who represents that cause. And, and, and lastly, what product and project managers share in common is that they leverage systems and tools and data to provide visibility to the performance of the projects, the effectiveness of resources, so that the product's business can achieve the results that are necessary. And so if I were to leave you with, with a, a, a thought about the difference between product management and project management is that they are two different disciplines, but they're incredibly symbiotic and they contribute greatly to the cause of managing a product's business. So with that, I hope it helps and that if you have uh, uh, things that you're interested in doing in terms of training, development, coaching, things like that, visit us at sequentlearning.com. We'd love to be able to help you. And if you have any topics that you're interested in with respect to this podcast, please reach out to contact me. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Looking forward to seeing you the next time on Masters of Product Management. I'm Stephen Haynes. You've been listening to Masters of Product Management with Stephen Haynes. If you'd like to take your career to the next level with additional tools, training, coaching, and books, be sure to visit Sequent Learning Networks at sequentlearning.com.